over how I make a face mask. This is based off of Jenny Doan's tutorial, Missouri Star Quilt, except I've added a few shortcuts um, because I've been trying to get them made quickly. So you start out with two pieces of fabric, six by nine inches. If it's directional, you want the nine inches across, six inches top to bottom. Okay, to my right side of fabric, I am going to tack down my elastic. It's easier to tack it down than try to just sew it while you're sewing around the edges. So I come down maybe a half an inch. I just eyeball it and I'm using a quarter inch seam. Down here, I'm gonna take this piece, make sure that it doesn't twist, keep it flat, and then put that down there again, about a half inch from the bottom. If you can put your machine in the needle down position, it makes it much easier. Okay, now I'm going to do the other side. And these are the elastic pieces that go around your ear. These elastic pieces should be cut about six and a half to seven inches. And then again, I'm going to make sure it's not twisted. This is why I think it's easier to tack it down first. Now I'm going to leave an opening at the bottom so when I'm finished I can turn it. Um, I don't. I started out clipping these, but I don't clip them anymore. But if you want to clip it or pin it in place to hold it, now would be the time to put a few clips around it. So again, I'm going to leave this section here about two inches open on the bottom, and this is directional fabric. when you're sewing around here that you don't catch a piece of your elastic. You can also do this with ribbon if you don't have elastic. If you're doing ribbon, you're going to need four pieces of 14 inch ribbon. I've done ribbon as well, a quarter inch wide ribbon. down to the bottom again. So I'm going to sew across, but I'm going to leave open a section to trim it. Now I'm going to go back and clip the corners, making sure I don't clip through my seam. Flip it. And then I have a little brush that has a rounded end that I poke out my corners. And these have to be functional, not necessarily beautiful. Now I'm going to take it to the ironing board and iron everything flat. This section I have open at the bottom, I'm going to press that. 
Now you don't have to, but what I do is take a little piece of stitch witchery, because you're gonna top stitch around this, but I take a little piece of stitch witchery and put in there to hold that little opening closed, and then I still stitch around it. So then I have these little clips. I use four of them and I just eyeball it. I make two pleats. And I clip the pleat. And then I make another pleat. and then I press it. So what these plates do is when you put this elastic around your ears, you can expand this mask from your nose down under your chin. Okay, that's what it looks like front and back. Now I'm going to go back to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch all the way around. I usually start at the bottom. this pleat and the pleats in this direction I want to make sure it doesn't lift it up as it sews over that's a pretty nice thickness there precise with my sewing, but I just wanted to, I've got a lot more of these to make. And that's it. Um, let me also say, if you don't have elastic, I was able to get these at the um, Dollar Tree today. So apparently that little secret has not been shared so much that they're out, but I do expect them to be out shortly. Um, there's enough here to cut this elastic. So one headband would do one mask because you're gonna cut it between six and a half and seven inches. And there's six to seven in a pack for a dollar. So here's the little mask. I'm gonna put it on. And then just like that. Quick and easy. If you have any questions, let me know. And if any of my friends are out there sewing and they need some of this because they can't find elastic, I did not hoard all of them, but I bought quite a few so I could share. All right, that's it. Be safe.